Get Your Blues On project in fourth grade, and it was really awesome. It's called Big Fat Purple Toe Blues. the fourth grade teacher and last year I taught the students an expedition on the Great Migration. We launched the expedition through a gallery walk. There were four panels and books all over the classroom and the students had no idea what the expedition topic was. They walked around and they were recording how they felt, what questions they had, powerful words and phrases. We started reading a lot of poetry by Eloise Greenfield and Langston Hughes and we're looking at their homes and analyzing the mood that they felt and what basically they were going through as they were migrating. Then decided to write our own blues poems. So we Same. think what could make a fourth grader blue, whether it's a personal topic or a big world topic. A really rough start because I didn't know what to write about. We wanted it to be personal to them and we wanted them to feel passionate because as we listened to songs and read poems we knew the people felt really strongly about you know their emotions that they were expressing through their words. When we looked at art, we were really looking at history through an artist's eye, mm -hmm. and we were looking through a poet's eyes as we read poetry. Um, we read a lot of first-hand and second-hand accounts and learning about the Great Migration through a historian's eyes, and they enjoyed taking on the life of another character. And I would, I would actually put my shoes into the person who was singing. We came into the classroom as a resident artist and we just talked to them about improvisation. We talked to them about the structure of the blues and how to express yourself through music. What do those things look like, technical aspects on your instrument? They had their stanzas that they had written, their, their poems, in AAB form. And when we came in, the blues works in the same way, AAB form. So it laid over the chords very nicely and so I would just play the bass line on the keyboard and have them speak their words. Alright, let's hear it. Okay. Oh, big fat purple toe. Oh, I feel so low. My heart stops like a timer. I can't take it anymore. Ow, ow, my toe throbs and drips with blood. Listening that they had been doing to prepare them for this, they really had a, a really strong concept of, of what their melody sounded like, you know, with their words. And we start going. And I looked at Anthony and I was like, he gets up there and sure enough, I got no money. Uh. And we had such a good time. I think that you know, we were clapping and everything. Creating a sense of empathy, you know, for, for those travelers. What was that experience like? learning about the blues, learning about ways to express yourself not only in words but through music and through collage work, artwork. They may not remember, you know, the bits and details, but they'll remember that they were on that stage and they have the power and the potential. Affect change in themselves, affect change, you know, in an audience by a simple point. But uh, this is my first official poem. And how do you feel about it? I feel pretty proud of myself. I don't want to look right.